Hello friends. So in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to deploy fulfillment webhook code on Heroku. So if you have used inline editor for Dialogflow fulfillment, you might be aware of that Google asks you to, you know, enable billing account in order to access the inline editor. In order to enable the billing account, you have to provide your credit or debit card details. So you can avoid that by deploying your fulfillment webhook on Heroku. It is completely free and it don't even ask for your credit card details. So after deploying the fulfillment code on Heroku, all you need to put is that URL into the webhook section. So if you go to your dialog flow and if you go to fulfillment, once you deploy your fulfillment code on Heroku, all you need to do is just enable this option webhook here and it will say if you enable webhook fulfillment via google cloud function will be disabled which is fine this option will be disabled this will be enabled and here instead of using this default you need to put the webhook uh, the webhook url generated by heroku so we'll see how to get that url from heroku how to put that url here and how to do the same thing that we are doing here uh, locally deploy that code on Heroku and instead of using inline editor use the Heroku for webhook okay so if you see I have opened my, my Visual Studio code here and I've just opened I've just created a blank uh, empty folder if you see there's nothing in there so it's a blank folder now what we are going to do is we are going to create an express application and Express is a Node.js package for creating APIs. So what we are going to do is we are going to create an API using Express.js and Node.js. And uh, this API, when, when a post request is made, this API will basically execute the fulfillment code. So the code which is normally executed by Dialogflow Inline Editor which ex, ex, uh, which is ex, actually executed on Google Cloud. Okay, so that code will be executed on webhooks on Heroku. So let's try to create that API using Express and Node.js. And also it is important to open the Postman, you know, so that we can test the APIs. So just open your Postman as well and we'll start creating the Express. So the first step is to create an index.js file. So we'll just create a new file called index.js. All right. And open your terminal. So if you see, we have index.js here. Now you can run a command called npm init. So it is asking for package name. You can change if you want to. Otherwise, just select the default. You can select all the default details here. Entry point index.js text command. Uh, just leave everything as it is. And that's it. If you see a package.json file will be created. Okay, uh, just leave it as it is. Uh, and now we will start in, uh, installing things. So first of all, uh, let's install uh, Express. So npm i dash dash save Express. Uh, we may need to install a few more things. So we'll write uh, just next to it. So something called body parser. Okay, so we'll write uh, npm i dash dash save so this is to just save everything here in package.json so that we can deploy it on heroku and then express body parser and then uh, we may need a few more things like firebase functions and we may also need dialog flow dash fulfillment um, I think that's it for now so I will put this command in the 
description section below so you can copy it from there uh, or I'll put it in a github but uh, just write this command npm i dash dash save express body parser firebase functions and uh, dialog flow fulfillment you actually don't even need this firebase functions so we can actually remove it so only ex express body parser and dialog flow fulfillment is sufficient just press enter so installation is done and if you go to package.json you should see body parser express and dialog flow fulfillment that's good and you can see node modules is also there so that's great now uh, let's write start writing our express code so first of all you will write const express will to require express. so if you are new to express i will recommend just go and search for a tutorial on express there are many tutorials available on youtube or udemy so just go and uh, get some basics of express uh, okay so if assuming you are aware of how express works uh, we are going to write our code here so we have to include or require body parser So we are going to use either environment port or 3000, whichever is available. Uh, once you have written this code, uh, you have to write app.post and you have to give a name. So let's call it dialog flow full fulfillment. That's the name of the endpoint, which will be called and this will receive request and will reply with a response so for now let's just do console.log test this is just to see our uh, express is working or not okay and here you will write app dot listen to port and you will write console dot log listening on port and then port number will be something like port make sure you use the back ticks here okay not these ones but these ones back tick so that you can use you know string string templates okay so this is our basic bare bone uh, express code now let's do uh, and what you can do is you can write a start script here in package.json so inside script you can write start which will be like node index.js so once you have done that just write start node index.js and once you have done that you can write npm start so if everything is okay, you should see listening on port 3000. Okay, that means our server is running, uh, API server is running and now we have to test this. So go to your postman and select post and select localhost colon 3000 slash dialog flow dash fulfillment. So this is same as this one dialog flow fulfillment and if you click a send you should see a console log here test 
which is this one so that means our code is working fine and we are getting a response okay so now we are going to write the actual code here to you know to handle the incoming request for dialog from dialog flow and uh, basically process the response so let me give you a quick understanding of how uh, this works basically so uh, let me show you this in a in a visual way using mind maps okay so the way it works is uh, you have your let's say dialog flow here and let's say you have a user here somewhere and uh, so what happens is when the user sends a message let's say uh, let's say user sends a message called hi okay now this message will be sent to the dialog flow and what happens is dialog flow sends and if we enable the webhook option in Dialogflow, what happens is uh, Dialogflow sends this webhook option. So Dialogflow sends this uh, hi in a JSON format, you know. So it will send a JSON structure to this backend service using a POST request. So I can write a POST JSON. So the dialog flow will send this whole request containing hi and all the parameters or entities or anything to this backend service and this backend service will receive a json and this is our express so previously it used to be a google cloud function dialog flow so if you type your uh, fulfillment in uh, inline editor then it will be a google cloud function but now we are removing Google Cloud function and we are putting uh, the fulfillment code on Heroku. So you can write here Heroku or Express Server. So this Express Server will receive this post JSON. And now once we have all this information like hi, we will make a call to Dialogflow, we'll get a response and we will send back a response to the Dialogflow. And basically what we do here is uh, if we have to reply with any custom logic I mean, if you write if to write any custom response or let's say if this user says uh, what is the weather in london so let's say if the user says what is the weather in london okay now dialog flow doesn't know anything about weather so what happens is it will send this information in a json format to this heroku express server and what it uh, provides it says that okay someone is asking about what is the weather in london and now in the express we have this information that someone is asking for what's the weather in london and what we can do is we can call another api or you know let's say we call another API called a weather API. Our Heroku or Express code will make a call to weather API, get the weather. So get the weather data. Okay. We'll call the weather API, get the weather data, generate a response in another JSON format, send back to Dialogflow, and then Dialogflow will send that back to the user. This is the whole flow of how it works. Okay. So going back to the code, what we are going to do is we are going to write here the, the way. So in the request, we will get all the information that the user said, like, hi, hello, entities, intent, everything. And we have to process that information here, generate a response and send that back to the dialog flow. All right. So with that information in mind, uh, we have to add a couple of more uh, packages here. So one of them is this dialog flow fulfillment and uh, correct. So we have to require this dialog flow fulfillment and we will uh, import something called webhook client from dialog flow fulfillment. So I think that's it. Uh, now we can start writing our code here. So, 
So now what we have to do is we have to create a function, uh, a function which will handle the dialog flow fulfillment. So let's call it full const dialog flow fulfillment. This function will take request and response. Okay, so let me zoom my code a little bit. So this function will take request and response. And uh, now we will write the actual code. So we will first of all create an agent variable const agent equal to new webhook client and in that we will pass the request request and the response so this webhook client is coming from dialog flow fulfillment package that we have imported here all right so once our agent is created now what we can do is Uh, and write some uh, function here. Let let's say function say hello and call anything. Let's call it say hello. And we will pass the agent here. And inside this say hello function, you will write agent dot add. Hi, hi there. This response is coming from Heroku or something like that. Okay. So I think this is the standard practice that you follow in inline editor as well. Just write the function, any any function, pass the agent and agent that dotted your message. Then finally, uh, you define something called intent map. So So you will write intent map dot set and you will pass two parameters here. Uh, in the first parameter, you will pass the name of the intent and second parameter is the name of the function. Okay, so let's say the function, the intent name is default welcome intent. whatever is the name of your intent you will pass that here and the second name is the fun name of the function that you want to execute so in my case I'm just using default welcome intent okay and finally agent dot handle request and then intent map so that's it finally you have to call this function here okay and you have to pass the request and the response so this request and response will be passed to the dialog flow fulfillment which is this one it will do all the processing it will basically uh, execute this code agent dot add and uh, you should see a response so if everything is working as expected we should see uh, some response. So so let's try it out. Let's go to our dialog flow and go to our default welcome intent. Okay. So if you try hi now, see there is some random response coming hello I am AP bot or something what I'm going to do is I'm going to enable the fulfillment okay so I have enabled fulfillment and save it so if you now type hi 
right now we have not connected with the fulfillment heroku code but still if you type hi and if you click on diagnostic info you will see something called fulfillment request okay it is displayed only when uh, you enable the fulfillment so this is basically the information that dialogflow passes to the express or heroku or any backend service so normally it, it is google cloud function but uh, right now we are going to write our own express server so this is the information if you see it is passed to the fulfillment and uh, we have to read this information if you see we can see the query text is high and accordingly we have to generate the response so let's go to our uh, let's uh, uh, stop the let's stop our express server and start it again just to make sure it takes the effect and uh, let's see if there is some problem we need to fix that so it looks like action on google module is missing so yes we can install the action on google module so all you need to do is npm i dash dash save and then name of the module actions on google let's install that right so our uh, actions on google module is installed now let's try run npm start and you see it says listening on port 3000 so that worked now let's go to our uh, postman and uh, in the body we are going to select raw and json and just copy this copy this information and paste it here and if you click on send you will see this hi there this response is coming from Heroku so what is happening actually is um, just imagine that Dialogflow is sending this information Dialogflow is sending this information to this endpoint and when this endpoint is hit this code is executed and this say hello function is executed and then this URL basically generates this output fulfillment text hi there this response is coming this is sent back to the dialog flow okay and then dialog flow shows this response to the user so that's how the fulfillment works uh, so it is working well on our local host now we cannot use local host as it is uh, on we can actually use localhost as it is as well uh, using something called ngrok so let me actually show you that as well so ngrok is a service which export your port to the uh, to the uh, public URL uh, on internet so because you cannot post put uh, you know uh, localhost here in the fulfillment service so Let's say you want to put uh, uh, the webhook URL. You cannot put uh, localhost here, but if you use something called ngrok, then, then you can do it. So let's try it using ngrok. So I have already downloaded ngrok. Let's open a new terminal and uh, let's go to the ngrok folder. Okay, and just run ngrok. So you see there are the commands here ngrok http 80 to secure public URL for port 82 web server port port 80 web server so we have to expose port 3000 so we are going to write ngrok http and 3000 so you see this URL is for our 
लोकल होस्ट तो दिस यू आर एल इज नाउ पॉइंटिंग टू लोकल होस्ट थ्री थाउजेंड सो वॉट दैट मीन्स इज बेसिकली इंस्टेड ऑफ दिस इफ आई पुट दिस यू आर एल एंड सॉरी नॉट एवरी थिंग बट ओनली दिस पार्ट लोकल होस्ट थ्री थाउजेंड कैन बी रिप्लेस्ड विद दिस एंड नाउ इफ आई सेंड दिस रिक्वेस्ट आई शुड स्टिल गेट एंड यस आई एम गेटिंग द रिस्पॉन्स विच मीन्स नाउ अवर वेब बुक इज वर्किंग ओके and it is working using ngrok so we are good to use this url in our dialog flow just put this url in the web book section and uh, that's it uh, click on save and it is saved so now if i say hi i should see that message is coming from local host let's see and there you go you see it says this hi there this response is coming from local code which means we have deployed webhook locally now i can change this to anything testing hello world 123 save it uh just stop and start your server so that your change changes take effect done it says look uh, listening on post port 3000 and now if i say hi you see testing hello world 123 so you can see all the code all the responses coming from our local code and it is connected to our Uh, web hook which is running locally fine using ngrok and we have seen that our response is coming when the local host is running then the response is coming but when the local host stopped this ngrok because it is just forwarding the local host to the public url so when the local host stops this uh, response also stops so now what we need to do is we have to deploy this code to heroku so you can create an account on heroku for free there's no charges uh once you create an account you can see something like this and you have to click on create new app okay and just give it a name so i can give it a name like heroku heroku awt uh dialog flow heroku fulfillment so let's just call it awt dialog flow heroku and yes that name is available and you can select a region uh, i think us is fine i'll just create um uh, an app okay so once the app is created you will see something like this and uh, you need to do now there are some instructions given you have to follow just these instruction so first of all you need to just uh select this go to your code okay and uh, just type uh just make sure you are on the same folder where you have index.json and package.json file and just type heroku login and uh, just wait for few seconds and it will say press any key to open a browser and you just have to press the enter key okay so it will open the browser and uh, it will ask you to log in you can just click on login button here and that's it you are logged in uh you see you are logged in done logged in as anshul or shrivastava now uh, once you are logged in successfully you have to follow the other steps so you can come here and see the instructions it says cd my project git in it so we are already in the current project so we don't need to do cd we can just write git in it okay and it says initialize the empty git repository okay. that's good now we can just copy this command heroku git remote okay just uh, paste this and 
and uh, that's it set uh, get remote heroku to this 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 so once that is done now you can copy this command git add dot okay just with this git add dot next you need to write uh, you need to run this command okay so actually uh i check the git status oh so that is a problem we actually added all the git modules so we don't need to do that uh, so to avoid that just add a file called git ignore okay and in the git ignore file write git modules just write git reset and then if i do git status will show this and now i will do git add dot now if i do git status it will show only those files so make sure you don't uh, you add this git ignore file add node modules and don't uh, commit node modules okay so now we need to run this command git commit and that's it so now you can run this code git push heroku master and if you go to the app and click on more and view logs you should see the logs so you see it says build started build succeed starting npm start perfect so now it says listening on port something we don't care about what port it is uh, so now what we need to do is uh, we need to click on open app okay so if you click on open app if you open it on browser it should say cannot get which is fine now just copy this url go to your dialog flow and instead of this ngrok io everything before slash remove that okay don't remove dialog flow fulfillment because we need that just remove ngrok part paste this uh, heroku url and click on save so once it is saved now if you type hi you should see this testing hello world okay that's great so let's try doing some changes uh let's say hello this was a nice tutorial by selvap tech let's just try it anything uh and now remember that we have to deploy this because we need to push this this on heroku so to do that to do that first of all we can just write get status you can see there is one file modified now you can write get add dot now if you do get status it will say in green now you can type get uh you can just uh, do git commit minus m and finally git push heroku master okay. so once you do that uh if you go to heroku you should see uh, build started in the logs and within a few minutes uh, it should be deployed and there you go it is deployed listening on port so now if i go to dialog flow and now if i type hi see 
get the response hello this was a nice tutorial by excel web tech so this was a very simple tutorial about how to deploy your own webhook on you know heroku instead of using inline editor or uh, google cloud functions so if you do this if you deploy your uh, fulfillment on heroku or any other external service and if you use the webhook then you don't need to worry about billing account or you know uh, paying to google cloud functions and uh, since Heroku is free, you can completely use it for free. So that's 